JLTT says, I can't wait till Tua rips apart New England week one. Do you think Kyle Van Noy is going to tell New England uh, our plays and New England style? Uh, actually, it's a different coordinator now. It's completely different than what, what Chan was doing. So, no, he can't really, you know. Uh, that, that stuff is, you know, we have fun with it, but it's a little overrated. In the end, Belichick is smarter than all of the players combined. So he knows what he sees. And, you know, he was around Brian Flores for 16 years. So he knows Brian Flores and Brian Flores knows him. You know, and uh, whether it's Malcolm Perry going to New England or Kyle Van Noy or you get somebody from them or, and, and they've picked up several guys that have been in New England. So it's not a it's not a big deal. It's not really going to create any kind of an advantage in the end. We kind of exaggerate. Okay, now the game planning for New England is now is when it starts. They've been doing preseason. So Malcolm's not around. Kyle Van Oy was around for uh, Chan Gailey. He wasn't around for Godsey and, and Studesville. Those guys may have different philosophies and different ways of doing things, and Kyle Van Oy is not going to know about it. So in the end, you're not really going to know anything. Uh, you're not really going to help out that much at all, if anything. If Belichick beats Miami, it's because they were better that day. And if the Dolphins beat New England, it's because they were better that day, not because they have a couple of players that played for New England and they got some kind of information. You know what I mean? That's kind of uh, – watch – Watch the first two years. It's Flores has won games that you would think his team may not win, should win, or could win, and they've done it. And they've done it because they've got a good coaching staff. And Belichick is obviously a good coach. So, yeah, you know, we, we make fun of that. We have fun with it. We roll with it. But in the end, it's really not going to make any kind of ultimate difference. Let's put it that way. I think it's really a, a whole bunch of hot air is what it is out there, you know, but it's it's a nice narrative to have and it's 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 fun to go with it. But, you know, it's it, it's kind of part of what our society is, even if it's not true. We'll say it enough and convince ourselves, you know, just like Mike Florio's, you know, he, he's he fell down a rabbit hole with that story and they'll continue because what the Patriots, I mean, the Patriots, the Dolphins aren't going to come out and do the things they want the media to do. No, they're going to run their business the way they want to run it. And that's it. And so then they can hide behind whatever narrative they want. Well, they haven't completely come out and said, we don't want to trade for Deshaun Watson and we don't want anything. And well, of course not because they're not going to do that for him or any other player. Because they're not going to let you determine it. But if you want to create your own narrative, go ahead. And I think that happens with this. Same thing. We create this narrative like it really is going to create some kind of an advantage for the other team. And it really isn't. It just is. And Malcolm Perry also, he's a sec he's not even a full second-year player. He's only been in the league one year. You think that kid is going to know everything? Come on, man. He's not. It's not going to know, you know, maybe if he's a 12 year veteran and he was in the system for a couple of years and yeah, maybe he can share a couple of things, but we're talking about a kid that's about to start his second year in a completely new offense. Now that they're going to run it different. They're going to call it different. And he doesn't know exactly what they're going to do. So he's not, he's not going to be as useful as a seasoned veteran that maybe is in the same system for a couple of years and then can come over and tell you something like that. And still, with that said, it's not going to give you all the advantage that you really need in order to win a damn game, you know? So I, I, I think that stuff is kind of overrated, to be honest with you. 